Hey guys, welcome back. Crow Fry here, and we are going to do a first glimpse today on a game called Timberborn. As you can see, it is a preview demo. It is out on Steam, so if you get a chance, check go ahead and check it on out. And if you like these first glimpses, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It does help the channel out. So, as we're looking at this, Timberborn is basically a game where you are in a pretty much a wasteland and you are creating a new civilization and basically you have to start from scratch but the kick to this game is you are not playing as people you're actually playing as beavers look at this here beavers of Demoria it's a free spirit in, by nature they're specialized in survival in most desolate land through sheer determination, they lack the unique characteristics of their distant full game cousin. And the oh, other one are the Iron Teeth, the defectors of the way of the true timber. They master iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress with ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard to the, for the environment. Their motto, work hard, work hard. But yeah, this one's not available in the demo. And then we have the unknown here. So let's go ahead and choose this little cute beaver. So there are two locations we can play with. We'll just choose the one that's recommended. So and jump on in. So as you can see in the background, you got your little beaver workers bridge you got your whole entire city in the background and like I said the goal is to turn the desolate wastelands into a thriving beautiful forest all with the, this river that runs through the lands and from there you will make a life expand so let's go ahead and pause the game and take a look at what's going on so, of course, you can turn the camera, zoom in, and let's look at these little guys right here. Mm, that's a little bit loud. Let's go ahead and change that setting down a little bit. Where are you at? So, let's go ahead and change all that down to about 35. Right there, good enough. Okay, so let's go click on this guy here. It'll show over here their age and days, their status. Obviously, they're homeless right now, unemployed, their well being. Then it gives a little bit more information here. So, these, once they're improved, you can get more and more of this stuff to increase their, you know. For example, social life, fertility, working speed, life expectancy, uh, strength, carrying, so on and so forth. So you got a little bit of perks right here once you unlock them for each each of your beavers. And then over here you have your your day pretty much. And as this keeps move um improve or progressing. Um, your days change and season changes and all that but you can also show how many hours they're able to work so we can change that to you know they can work just one hour days ten hour days or have them work all day long but you know that that that'll make the, these stats right here decrease or increase but depending on how you treat your beavers so I'm just going to bump it up to 17 hour work days. So now let's go ahead and see what we got here. We want for tutorial says they want us to build some uh, log piles and mark some trees to cut. So let's see. We got log pile right here. Let's rotate that. And where should we build this? So the log pile, as you can see, has a radius. 
and the radius determines where you should be building or where your beavers will you know how far they would travel out from said location so let's see I will go ahead and make a path to right here add the log piles right there I'll go ahead and place this over here right there looks good because we can now make a path to that straight across let's see what else we got we can build a farm I think I will build the farm actually right over here <coughs> excuse me and then we'll take that all the way up what else should we build hmm 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 we're we're definitely going to need some water. So let's put you right there. And let's place three of these right here. Like so. And let's go ahead and connect that. So we got. Ooh, let's delete that. Yes. Let's build the farmhouse right here. And continue. So, next thing, we need to mark. Well, trees and bushes are locked right now. But we can cut trees. Yes, let's cut some trees down. And we're going to choose all these over here like so. And what is that? No storage in range. Alright, let's see if we can maximize this. There we go. And look, there's our little wood cutter right there. Okay. So now we got our little wood cutters going down. things up a little bit Okay, so now we got a little gatherer here gathering food. We got our lumberjacks over here cutting down trees. We are going to be building our farm first. <laughs> and currently we have no houses. We'll make this our number two. 
along with these. Actually, all we need is just one for right now. So we'll just put these two on the lower side. Oh, look, our farm is done. Let's increase that. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a small patch of carrots. Like so. And then we could make a small patch of potatoes. Because the primary thing I've noticed in this game is food. You have to have food. There we go. Okay, things are improving. Our water is almost done. Alright, we'll continue with that. Okay, so things are improving. We got our food supplies on the way. We are struggling with water, it seems, but we'll be fine. See, it's all working out. Okay, so water tank is built and we'll continue. Dirt paths are made. Closed tutorial. <clears throat> so far so good right now. Our next goal is pretty much we need to get as much stocking of lumber as we can for right now. We also need to get some science going. So let's go ahead and set this up. Actually, let's check our beavers right now. Thirst hunger's good, sleep's okay, so we're fine right there. Let's see. Is 
So let's go ahead and get some houses for our our beavers. Let's see. Let's give a little bit of space from the farm in case we need to expand it. Uh, right here looks good. One right here. One right here. One right here. And one right here. <laughs> Alright, now we are getting a little bit of surplus of water. We have 19 stored. But I do love how this game is. It's so cute. Look at these little guys just running around, sleeping. Oh, look at them sleep. So let's give them some houses if we can. Bam. Okay. Alright, since everybody's sleeping, let's speed it up a little bit. And let's change their work time for 18 hours because they look well rested. Every single one of these guys are well rested. <laughs> okay. So, my hopeful thing is, I hope these carrots get... We have one beaver with no job. I wonder, can I increase the loggers? Nope, they're maxed. This is maxed. So, we'll prioritize carrots. We got our first house. We got three people already. We got eight homeless still. Five homeless. One hundred percent full. Luckily, we got a second one right here. <clears throat> one construction lacks material. There. We got three builders now. And no one is going to sleep. So let's change that back down to 16. Because I believe our... There we go. Oh, look at that. We're getting some comfort in on our beavers. Mog speed increase and life expectancy increase. That's cool. Getting a little bit better here. <clears throat> so these carrots are almost done. And since pretty much our farmers are standing around, 
let's actually do something more. Let's increase our carrot farm just a hair. Since, you know, like I said, all they're doing is standing around. And let's also make a path that goes all the way around like this. Because they do move faster on the paths. And this way we have a slight rotation on our products. They are not all just being lumped up all at once and being stored all at once. We have a steady supply of coming in at different times. Alright, so we have no homeless. That's great. Our water supplies are getting maxed out like that there we go now that's not interesting to see they actually balance out the water okay So it looks like we are almost out of wood. But our population is filled right now. Okay. Oh, we have one unemployed. So what can we do with that one unemployed beaver? We can throw him in the builder's hut for right now. Got a decent amount of water. Our first batch of food is almost done. So let's see. <laughs> there we go. And our farmers are doing their job. Let's see. <clears throat> this is why I wanted to have that little rotation going on. I didn't want all this being done all at once. Because it takes time for them to collect everything. Okay. So our berry farmer is almost done. Our wood supply is growing a little bit. So we can actually Let's see how are we going to do this? How much did that take? Takes 12 locks. So let's get rid of one. Yes, let's delete you. Now, here's the thing. We need a power supply, which requires a T right there. 
going to need you right here and I do want another T right actually you can probably put a cross right there there's a reason for that because now we can put T there and we want a water wheel Yes, let's get rid of view material for the power. We're going to build that there and that there. Get rid of view because I don't know if we can get there. And let's get rid of view. All right. Oh my, you see how they only done that small of a portion? Granted, it did give us 17 food. See, that's 12, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oof, oof, 50 logs. Well, at least right now we are getting research points, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Requires plant trees so it requires forestry forester which is 60 points let's go ahead and reduce one of our workers there and there we go we are getting three science points oh we're Okay, well, we can go ahead and put this here now. <clears throat> so our next step is, unfortunately, Gonna need a lumber mill. And for a lumber mill, we can put you right here. But we can hold off on that. I want to get these two up and running. But we are getting close to running out of wood over here or over there. So, what is that? Yep, that's the way I want it. They are a decent cycle. Okay. We are getting research points, like I said. We're at 21 right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish that log or the water wheel in time. Our water is full. <coughs> Hmm. 
We are getting potatoes stored now. Ooh, we might not have enough wood. And we are almost out of our loggers range over there. So let's go ahead and add that over here. And chop down the woods over here. Oh look, we got a new kitty. That means we need to build more houses. Which can wait. We are getting closer to unlocking our forester, which allows us to plant trees and b bushes. And we can turn this whole entire area into a nice little little area where we can gather foods. All right, looks like our second batch of carrots are almost done. That is almost done, and we do have leftovers. That's good, that's good, I like that. We might be able to add one more house in. I'm just trying to figure out where these guys are getting, collecting wood now. Well, this area is done, so we can go ahead and pause that. We don't need the extra worker there, but we can add her them there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we are fully relying on this as our food supply. We just used up all of our berries. We can't quite get up there yet. For the stairs, we need 70 science. But we can go ahead and get our forester. There we go. So let's go ahead and pause that and finish up our power supply. We'll put one there like so and get this T and put to array that in. This is going to be amazing once this is done. I, I like how all these systems are in place. Oh yeah, I forgot about that could use a little walkway right there producing 290 horsepower well these are going to be demanding a little bit of uh, horsepower as you know we progress in science but for right now I am going to unlock that yes do I want to build a lumber mill right here? Yes, I do. But not right now. And once this is done, you'll see the magic of all these. There we go. All these cogs working together. Right now, we do not have a demand for the horsepower from these locations. That's great. But we do have demand for this right here. Because those require planks, we'll go ahead and put that right there, like so. 
and we can take this power supply like so and run it all the way in if we need to split off anywhere we can delete a section and add it in and that is the beauty of all that Now we do need to get one worker for that. There we go. One worker. Coming your way, buddy. Okay. So now we're going to be getting wood planks to do our little forestry. And we'll plant that right there because that's this is where we're going to make our forestry area. And it's going to take a little bit of time due to the fact that it needs some planks. We'll pause that right now. And 10 wood. We might be able to squeak on by with what we got here. So actually, let's go ahead and unpause that then. Let's see what one log gives us. Yep, one log just gives us one one little plank and do we store planks in here too nope not really sure where we store our planks But all I know is this is still waiting. And once we get enough wood, by golly, we will be in business. We can turn this over here into Birch Tree Paradise. Like so. Oh my goodness, I did not expect it to be like that. Let, let's clear that. Okay. So let's change that up. We will turn this. So that's what? 5, 15, 30, 45. All right, so we'll just do that. And once that is done, we'll get a builder and we'll load them in there. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make that dirt path right there. Awesome. All of our beavers are happier than ever, ever with a high score rating of five. So we got our three there. And then four here for nutrition and five for comfort. Okay, and this only needs two more logs, which we're almost there. I'm surprised. 
and these things are taking forever to grow but what we can do we got that over there I don't see why we can't increase this over here like so and we'll take you all And we will be done with this in a minute. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, now we need to get one more person for this there you go and look at that got a little birch trees growing right there hopefully we will have enough wood with all this now Okay. But other than that, guys, this is your first glimpse into this cute little game, Timberborn. Like I said, once again, it is out on Steam as a demo. You can go ahead and head on over and check it out. And looks like I am out of time. So I hope you like what you've seen. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. So y'all need to take care and have a good one. Bye.